Hello everyone, this is Etherimp from Clan ONA, or also known as Nonprofit from the Minecraft forums. And uh, today I'm here to show you the cannon that I just finished a day or two ago. Um, finished actually a little while ago, but uh, I made some constant modifications to it. This is the entryway right here. But before I get to anything, I wanted to thank um, a Neo Irony from the Minecraft forums for helping me out a little bit with the redstone. Uh, he helped uh, solidify the concept that that I had for um, trying to add delay. Um, I'd also like to thank Etho for helping me with the um, with the switch box that I use in in the uh, in the delay timer. God damn it! I can't get through the door. There it goes. Nope. I just added this, so maybe I'll have to modify that. Plus, I'm dealing with lag here because of FPS chop. Um, yeah, that's really annoying. I may have to modify that. Anyhow, here's the cannon. I call it the Widowmaker. It is pretty much a standard three rail cannon. And I'll go over a couple of the features here with you and then we'll get to some firing. Uh, the first thing is uh, I have indicator lights at the end of each rail on both sides. That's the middle rail there. And then the two main rails or the, the top and the bottom rail. Um, I have a cap over the water source so you don't accidentally place that there. I see a lot of people do that. Um, the indicator lights are useful for when, you know, before I fire my cannon, if I've been on the server in a while, uh, I'm not sure if somebody's come by and accidentally screwed something up. I can hit this and I'll see the indicator lights go off. This is also a timer indicator light. This, uh, this is the delay for the warhead. So I can see easily what the uh, delay is approximately. But here's the showcase of the video. This is what I really wanted to show off here. Um, this is a uh, four different variable uh, delay system and what we got here is on the far right if all the levers are up there's a 16 delay that's 16 redstone torches between the input and the output uh, 24 delay is mid-range that will fire around 100 meters the short range will fire around 50 to 75 it, it depends on how much propellant you put in the cannon but uh, uh, the the shell or the TNT warhead will explode based on how much delay you put on so 30 delay is good for long range and 32 delay I know that seems like very little and it is but it's the difference between the TNT landing on the pad which is uh, a half step I'll jump in there and show you real quick see there's a half step there uh, it's the difference between the TNT landing on that and not landing on it and when it doesn't land on it then you get slightly more arc because the um, the TNT is still in mid-air when it launches and if it does land on it the shot tends to go a little straighter it's a little more consistent um, so it could mean the difference between several meters of it, of the TNT exploding at the target zone uh, so the first thing we're gonna try a little short shot here we'll do about 50 about 50 meters out you see I have a marker here uh, you can't see the full weight but uh, it's good for kind of gauging about how far stuff goes so um, start out by loading it up find about four shells is, or four pro four propellant TNT is good for the first and then there's my TNT warhead and all I have to do here go and hit that And you can hear it explode, and you saw it went about to the 50 mark, so that's pretty consistent. Um, next thing here, we'll go for 24 range, or 24 delay, which is uh, mid-range, and we used 4 on the last one, we'll use about 7 or 8 on this one to make it to about 100. It's important to note that these are actually accurate shots. I have no way of proving that to you right now, but uh, take my word for it. If we set up a target and shoot it at that target, we could take out the target just about every time, depending on which range it was at. And you can you can zero in on that range um, by just adjusting the uh, the TNT propellant just a little bit. So here's my third one. This is going to be a very long shot. I'm going to use 14 TNT on this one. And I've been testing this a lot, so I kind of know exactly where I need to, what I need to use to, to, uh, to get my target. It's 
see the delay is quite a bit longer here. If you watch the TV, it just fell right before the explosion and landed right on the pad, and it goes way far out there. Um, here's the last one. It's not much different than than the one just before. But I want to put a little less arc on it. So I'm going to stack all the TNT, or a lot of the TNT, the propellant TNT in the back. Because I'm going to balance out for what, what arc you get out of the shot. And again, this will make the this will make the shell or, or the warhead explode slightly later, just a split second later, which could mean the difference between it hitting the ground or uh, not or exploding. And there you go. And then I'm going to run you out to the. Uh, oh wait, I actually didn't change the timer on that one, so we'll do that one one more time. As you can see, SMP is a little buggy. The TNT stays in place like that. I'll also make another video right after this one of uh, displaying the redstone and how that works. Okay, now we're going to run out and show you the, um, the firing zone here. 25 meters. This was about 50 meters right here, but it got blowed up. One hundred. There used to be a target right out here, uh, but I blew it up in testing. You can see there's all kinds of debris around here. One hundred twenty-five. One hundred fifty. And this is about one hundred and seventy-five. This is where a lot of those shots with the 30 delay land, 30 and 32. Um, but depending on the, depending on where you place the propellant in the uh, in the cannon, uh, depends on where it lands in this area here. Uh, so this is 200 meters, uh, and we have actually set up a target out here that it was a it was a pumpkin head with a cobblestone body, and uh, and torch arms and we hit it dead on, uh, exploded right in the, the pumpkin's face. You can also see that some of the ground back here and some of the trees has been blown up. So that range, you know, the 200 range, uh, we can actually shoot it further than that, but usually the TNT explodes in midair and uh, doesn't, except for that one obviously, but uh, back there it just blew off the tops of the trees. Um, that's about it for now. I'm gonna post one more video showing the redstone and how that all works, but uh, this is the Widowmaker, which is a variable delay cannon where we can actually set the delay. Okay, and we'll go more into that in the next video. Thanks.